This story that we're about to show you is something that I love to see. And we always promoting working with each other, being unified. And this is a great story of that. Let's go to the clip. A takeout order unlike any other. Here you go. A box chicken dinner with a side order of compassion and a biscuit. Don Carter was grabbing a late dinner last Friday night. I see her and is visibly exhausted. And so just feeling that myself, I decided to just say a long day or something like that. I don't, do you remember what I said? You see, it's almost over. <laughs> oh. But something was just beginning. 28-year-old Shawana Mays works at a Kansas City Popeyes, but her dream is to someday be a nurse. In passing, she told Don that coming up with tuition is a constant struggle. It's not easy doing it on your own. Carter is a former cop providing for his own wife and kids. Every reason of driving away, I was just thinking about what I could do to help what she was doing. When he got home, Don put the word out and started a GoFundMe page. Who wanted to help send this young woman to school? If I got 300 of them to just put $5 up, which I figured they'd be willing to do, you could do it no problem. It didn't even take 24 hours. The $1,500 was raised. This is something we want you to be able to do without having to worry about anything. Thank you. <laughs> is that cool? The fund has now surpassed $7,500, and for this burly former detective, it's overwhelming. So what kind of a nurse are you going to be? I think I'm going to be the best nurse that came out of Kansas City, Missouri. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. <laughs> a chance meeting at a drive through window, serving up a heaping helping of kindness. <laughs> now, did you see the big smile on that sister's face? when that brother came through to help her go to nursing school. This young lady was working frying chicken, doing what she had to do and struggling to pay for tuition in school. She don't want to be on nobody's welfare and food stamps. She wants a good career. That's going to definitely pay her very, very well. And when we can help out each other, we should do that. And doing things like that is only not only bless her, but at the end of the day, it's going to bless him down the line because what you do for others, good or bad, it's going to come back on you. So that's something that we always need to focus on. And we are each other's, you know, help much as possible. And as he said, he got a GoFundMe going, 300 people jumped on it. More people has jumped on it. That's what I like to see us coming together to help out each other. I hate to see us fighting each other. I hate to see us at each other's throats, calling each other's names, putting down each other, lifting up other groups of people saying that they're better than our men and our women in our own community instead of just fixing our problems, getting together and helping out each other in, in our communities. We all each other have. And if we see more and more of what this brother did for this sister, then you will see some turnaround. Now, what is she going to really think now as she's seen this? about her fellow brother she's not gonna have no attitude toward him because she's gonna say you know what if it wouldn't been for this brother helping me i wouldn't be able to be a nurse today and with time she's gonna be able to help out other people not only medically but she'll be able to help out other people you know out of her increase in finances when she actually become a nurse as i stated in that live stream our sister's attitudes toward us as the brothers in our community would change when we put them in position to do for self or even hire them. And that's what this brother did. You cannot tell this sister anything bad about a brother right now, because it was a brother that helped her get to where she needed to be. And she was just genuinely happy and glad. And even the way she kept looking at that brother, like she was just so happy that another brother came through and no one else. We definitely need to do more of this. And, and I'm so happy to, to hear this story, this is very positive, and I just love it all the way around. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for more news stories.